Hey there, Sagittarius. Here is your February 2024 love forecast. This may be for you. Okay, so the first message is that we have judgment in the reverse. So let me just break down what that means. Okay, so right now is not the time for you to like be judging yourself or even potential situations that you may, you know, enter into as far as like people you're going to meet, people you're going to, you know, possibly start something new with you know getting to know people this is really about you reflecting on the lessons that you've learned in regards to your love life because that's going to help you facilitate not only the kind of person you want but also how you navigate love going forward if that makes any sense to you so right now is the time to focus on what you've learned um reflecting on what you've endured thus far in regards to past relationships so this way the one that you get into next you know with time and patience also being an implemented factor you know what it is that you're specifically looking to not have happen again or how you don't want to approach certain situations again you know good bad or indifferent like cause it's, it's not to say that everything is going to be you know um promising some things are going to help me are going to be helping you reintroducing you being even open to it again so some things are blessings some things are lessons and everything has a season so make sure that you are taking note of all that you have learned up until this point to help you go forward okay next up we have the magician child so let me tell you something psa you have the ability to create what it is that you bring in next okay you have the ability to create opportunities and being proactive OK, so this is about you having control in a sense of not only your energy, but what it is you want to manifest in regards to your love life. So this is something that you actually have control over now more so than ever, because you're, you've reflected on the lessons and you've done, you know, even the heart healing that you may have had to do. So now it's about the magic now being in your capability to create what happens going forward. We also have the message of balancing out everything as well. So for those of you that are, you know, starting um, a new relationship or are currently in in one, you must focus on creating a work life love balance right now. OK, because you don't want to devote too much to one thing and then, you know, everything goes out of whack. So ultimately, you have to find a balance in this somewhere. So this way you can have all of what you want. You can have the successful career. You can have, you know, the attaining of your goals and aspirations. Meanwhile, having someone to enjoy that with. So making sure that you also implement balance going forward in your endeavors. OK, we also have the message of to be fair, again, that deals with balance in, in regards to, again, how you deal with certain situations. OK, being honest and receptive to, you know, all kinds of effective solutions, reflections, all that stuff. But making sure you're being honest and truthful in regards to how you see things going forward. OK, we also have the message in regards to the fates. You know, things are just destined to happen sometimes and your happiness is destined as well. OK, so don't think that you are undeserving of it and that it's not going to happen. It's just a matter of you implementing certain things into your love journey. OK, and never forgetting what you've come from and what you've come out of. OK, that's another key component that you want to focus on. OK, um, this is you, you have to look at how you would. Oh, and this also something additional. OK. Now sit down, Sagittarius, because I think you may need to hear this because I was guided to go to the extended message of the fates because that was just a portion of it. OK, this is where you actually as you are coming into the stage of acceptance of things that have happened before, you have to be mindful of trying to mold people into your preference. You have to see people as they are. This is not um, this is not build a person. People that come to you are going to be exactly who they are. And it's just up to you as to whether or not it's a fit. If it's not a fit, then you must quit. OK, like, but you can't mold anybody to be what you want them to be. It's either you're going to be content with how they are and accept them. And then, hey, you know, if there's room for improvement overall, that will benefit the whole situation. So be it. But you can't mold them to be what we would perceive to be perfect because there is no perfect person. OK, so it's either you like them or you want them or you're just going to move on to the next thing with no love lost. OK, because your journey is important in just the same way um, you wouldn't want anyone trying to mold you into what they want you to be. There has to be the same thing, vice versa. But ultimately, you're entitled to have exactly everything it is that you want. That's why I say you have the power to manifest and create what it is that you are looking for. So no need to mold anyone. Trust me. Okay, no need to try to mold nobody. Either take them as they are or, or say, you no, know, thank you next. Point blank, period. And then on top of that, you know, why, trying to, why waste your time 
you know, trying to mold someone when what you are actually looking to, you know, whom you're looking to draw in may already be out there and is going to fit everything that you've been looking for. Okay. But right now is not the time, honestly, to try to um make any solid plans. Now is the time to observe and see if things going to be a fit. You know, this is time for a nap message. Okay. Let things flow naturally. Okay. Don't try to force anything or anybody. It's just a matter about taking your time, analyzing, putting things in perspective, reflecting on the past and seeing where things go. But just know that um you do have options. Okay. Okay. Sagittarius. So, um. There may be a situation that comes up, Sagittarius, where you may have to be empathetic to what somebody else has gone through as well because, you know, it's giving and receiving. So empathy is a huge component as to what you do going forward because everybody has had different, you know, different situations and things that have happened in their past. So this may be even a call where as you are getting to know people, you know, reflecting and being empathetic to what they're going through even though you may not be able to personally relate but being empathetic is going to be a huge thing a huge um step because it's something that you really haven't had to do before up until now so i'm getting that you're meeting a person that um requires a little bit of empathy because they're going through maybe going through a difficult time or they're coming out of something that was very hard and it's for you to communicate and basically be there for one another you know but taking things slow you know what i'm saying also recognizing your virtue okay you are acknowledging that your loving spiritual attributes also help others to grow in the process so again this isn't about molding it's about you know being a support and vice versa and also you have a message of forgiveness so please do yourself a huge solid Sagittarius is um, please make sure that you are focusing on forgiving what has happened up until you up until this point so this way you're not re you're not going through the same cycles over and over again that you're making more sound decisions and you're being more observant because as you you know work on healing certain wounds that allows your mind to be in a space where you can be receptive and receiving of more information going forward so you can tune in when you need to and just you know be effective in your journey but you have the power to create exactly what it is that you want out of a relationship and what you want to be attached to or who you want to be attached to so just consider these options okay may this find you well